This time we are going to do a Monte Carlo simulation for a random walk in evolution. To find many more examples how you can do that in Excel, I wrote a book, Excel Simulations. It has 80 different simulations. You can find it at genesispc.com. In this case, I use Excel just for a simulation of randomness in evolution. Let's say we are talking about a gene that has two alleles, capital A, lowercase a, and the frequencies to begin with are 60% for the capital version, the dominant one, let's say, and 40% for the recessive one. So the chance that someone is a homozygote or homozygote for capital A, capital A is 60% time, 60% is 36 and 16% for the other version. And then the heterozygotes or zygotes is 2 times 24%. Of course we can change all of that, but that's not the issue for now. If that is the frequency of the alleles, then at generation after generation the percentage of homozygotes or heterozygotes or other homozygotes will remain the same, exactly the same. But that is very unlikely because each generation a random factor kicks in. I put a random factor here very low and we will bring it up gradually and we will see that there will be oscillations in these curves generation after generation. So let's do that first of all by finding out what the percentage of homozygotes is for the dominant feature. That happens to be exactly that value. But the next one, after one generation, that will oscillate a little bit. So we use the norm inverse function based on a random number. Oscillating around a mean of B8. That was the previous frequency. And a standard deviation of G3, that is our random factor. That's going to be our oscillation factor. And we copy that formula downwards, all the way down to row 108. And then we calculate how many heterozygotes we have. We use an if error function, that means if there are no heterozygotes left, then there will be an error. So we check the calculation two times. The square root of B9, that is the percentage 36 in this case, times 1 minus the square root of B9. And if there is an error, we show no value or the NA factor. Okay. The next one is a similar story. 1 minus the square root of B9 to the power of 2. That is how we calculated that 16% here. If this is all a little vague for you, that's be probably because you don't know enough about genetics. I'm a human geneticist, so for me this is very normal food. But if you not, you want to know more about genetics. And I wrote a book, is it, it's all in the genes, really. It has these chapters. And here, for instance, is the natural selection factor. We'll see how the genes affect each other, how they behave in the gene pool. And then we will go into the DNA features behind the genes. That book you can find at genesispc.com. There is a book version and there is an ebook version. I would highly recommend this book if you want to know a little more about genetics and then you will better understand what I am doing here. Here I am just focusing on the Excel part and the simulation part. Each time I press F9 it's going to recalculate column B and of course accordingly column C and D. F9, 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 nothing happens really. It will remain basically a stable line. 
until we bring the random factor up. I did that with a control. If you want to know how to make these controls, I won't go into that. You will find that in this book. It tells you how to make controls. So notice that there will be quite an impact generation after generation. Again, there is randomness involved. So if I just press F9, at the same random factor, it can have very different outcomes. That's a Monte Carlo simulation of random walk in evolution. And again, there will be much more variation when I increase the random factor. You can do something similar for natural selection if certain factors have a higher natural selection. There is also randomness involved, of course. I just want you to know that all of this can be done very easily in Excel. And it's very nice to see the effects of what we are doing. That is a Monte Carlo simulation. Again, if you want to know more about genetics, This book is your tool. If you want to know more about Excel simulations, that book is your tool. You can both find them in genesispc.com.